Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's continue with our speech recognition series. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about you know, how to recognize speech from uh, models which were trained on uh, Phoenix, okay, or Pox Phoenix as you prefer. Uh, so let's uh, create, uh, open the files. I'm, I'm going to enter the file in which I've installed the uh, Pox Phoenix, okay. So I'm going to go to the Python. Uh, uh, folder, uh, lib, side packagers, uh, let's search for uh, box things, let me see, okay, box things, okay, right there, so we have this model, okay, we have, as, you, as I said before, there are basically three files, but actually are there are more, there is this file, this uh, folder which has just these files, okay? But I consider it to be three parts. So this is the acoustic model, okay? This is a phonetic dictionary, and this is the language model, okay? So let's copy these files. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna create a, a new project right here. I'm gonna um, create a new folder. I'm gonna call it, uh, let me see, SR. Okay, per simple, let's open up, let's paste. So right now I have these three files, as you guys can see. I'm gonna open up the Gianni right here. Let's save this as a main file. And at the same folder, let's save as uh, main.py. And let's uh, start writing the code to um, to speech recognition using uh, Box Phoenix. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to import Box Phoenix, okay? Uh, because I don't wanna pass much parameters, I'm gonna just import live speech, which is easier, okay? Live speech, uh, and then let's uh, create uh, three variables to store uh, the acoustic module, which will be uh, a variable called HNM, okay? And if you guys want to learn more, you guys can check the documentation for uh, um, this. Uh, okay, so the HMM is basically the folder. Okay, so we need to copy this. I could copy just the file because uh, the, the, the name of the file, which will work. Let's copy and let's uh, paste. Okay, so this is the folder of the acoustic model. So we need to one variable to the language model. Okay, so the language model will be this uh, file right here. The language model dot binary. Let's rename it. Let's copy. So this is the language model. And you guys could train your own language model. I think I'm gonna show you guys how to do that very soon, okay? So if you guys wanna learn how to do that, you guys should definitely subscribe to the channel. So let's uh, copy the dictionary. Uh, the dictionary, let's call dict, okay? Which uh, is highlighted, but that's not a problem, okay? So this is the uh, phonetic, uh, phonetic dictionary, okay? So um, to get started, just uh, create a new object called speech or Recognizer, let's call it recognizer, recognizer. Uh, let's instantiate the speech live, live speech actually, live speech. Uh, let's pass some parameters. The first parameter is verbs, okay, which I'm gonna be equal false. There is a simple rate, which is very important, okay. Simple rate, uh, usually the simple rate is 16 kilohertz. There is a buffer size and you guys, you should definitely check the documentation if you wanna learn more about live speech uh, function, okay? Uh, there is a no search parameter, no search, no search, which will equal false. And finally, uh, the parameters, actually there is a full OTT, uh, which would be false, okay? Uh, so the thing is, uh, we have 
to pass our variables. So they have the same names, HMM, equal HMM, which is our custom model, LM, which would be equal LM, and DIC will be equal DICT, okay? So that's that's it, folks, uh, for the, this object. Right now, we just need to start the the loop, which is going to be uh, start the recognition, and let's say phrase in um, recognizer, which will be doing the speech recognition uh, forever, basically. So, yeah. Let me see if it is everything okay. I think so. So let's execute. It should it should be showing should be showing uh this allocating thirty two buffers of uh two thousand two thousand five hundred samples. As you guys can see it is recognizing my voice as I speak. It's not very good though, because this model wasn't trained with my voice and it was trained on native speakers uh, voice or speech, which helps uh, the recognizer to do its job. So the thing is, uh, if you know this, if you know that you need to, these three, uh, I would say uh, parts or components to do the speech recognition, you can uh, get this, okay? If you wanna build your own speech recognition system, you're gonna need uh, the acoustic model, the language model, and the phonetic dictionary. Okay, Th these are available on the internet, but if for some reason, if you want something more uh, speci specific, you're gonna need to look it out. Okay, so this was the video, guys. I hope it likes you guys next time.